Hey, this is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple. I know it's been a while, but I decided this was a good time to start talking a little bit more about Google Classroom and what you can do with it um, as we're going through a lot of e-learning times right now. So if you are in Google Classroom, I highly advise that you do not start using this as like e-learning right away. I've been using this with my class for a long time, but there are some good things that you can do to start sharing out some different concepts and ideas um, using topics within Google Classroom. One thing that you can do is if you look, I have, this is the one that I use for school. You can see all of these different topics here that I have based on the things that I teach. Okay, and that's one thing that you can do to organize yourself on Google Classroom so that your students know exactly what is expected of them and when that stuff is due. So in this tutorial, you're gonna see right here this is what yours will probably look like if you just started. You're going to go ahead and click Create. Then you're going to go down to Topic. And you're going to just create whatever topic it is that you are wanting to title this. Maybe it is something along the lines of something that you are teaching. Uh, maybe it is the Civil War. Then you just click Add. And now underneath this, you can create all the different assignments and different you know, pieces of work that you want your students to create all underneath this. So maybe you want to create an assignment or a quiz assignment or just pose a question. So say that you're going to pose a question to your students. So you click that particular option. And then what you're going to do is you are going to ask your question. And then when you come over here to the right, you can click the point value, what it's going to be worth. You can make it ungraded or you can make it some, some other uh, point value. And then when you go to topics, you're gonna wanna click on the topic that you want it to be under. You can click for dip multiple classes, different students. And then when you're ready to go, you just click ask. One great thing about this is with any of these things under classwork, you can click the add button and you can attach something from Google Drive. You can create an external link you can upload a file from your computer, or sometimes what I like to do is I like to add YouTube videos in order to uh, make it a little bit more engaging for some students. So when you do that, you can just do a simple video search for what you are looking for. And then you can just click the video from there and you can add it right there. It's pretty cool. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and ask this and I wanna show you exactly what happens so now this is under my Civil War topic and you can see right there, it's gonna give me the time posted and it's gonna give me the particular topic that I have. So that is something quick that you can do with classwork and in classwork, you can go ahead and start assigning assignments to your students. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. This is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple. We'll see you next video.